Hi, I'm Debbie. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how we cut our glass from a wine bottle. Well, not necessarily how we cut it, but I'm going to demonstrate how we score it before we cut it out from there. So we're using our Generation Green Bottle Cutter to do this. And here it is that we've made, made it up earlier. And what we're hoping to do is to cut out a series of rings um, like this that we can then cut down to make into um, any sort of glass ornaments or glass, um, glass catches you could make, um, decorations, you could make um, pieces of glass that you could include in your mosaic projects um, or stained glass projects, anything that, um, anything that you want really, or obviously to um, make some jewellery. Um, wine bottles do make lovely jewellery. So we take our wine bottle here and we're going to adjust our bottle cutter first of all for our very first ring. Now I would suggest that we start um, near the bottom and then we'll do two or three as we go up the bottle so that we can get as much glass out of there as we can. So I'll just pop my glasses on first of all so that I can see what I'm doing which certainly helps and my safety glasses which are very very important when we're doing this sort of work. So on with those. So we pop, pop our, our little green thing in there, we make sure that this part here is nice and perpendicular to our bottle and we also make sure that this and part B and our cutting handle are perpendicular or parallel to each other. So we hold that in there. Now just the pressure that I'm wanting to use here with my, my right hand is just to hold this lower part B in against the bottle and also the cutter against the bottle. So those two things I want to make sure are touching the bottle at all times. And up here I'm just going to guide our bottle um, with my left hand and turn it round as we go. So we'll start off our little movement here. And if you listen carefully you'll hear a nice gravelly sound as we slowly turn our bottle making sure that I'm holding both the cutter and part B against the bottle at all times and I just continue to turn it around. Now we'll know when we have arrived at the beginning of our line because it should start making a very gravelly noise. Here we go. I can hear that noise. It is slightly different and um, deeper than the other noise. So once we hear that it's really important that we stop at that point because as we all know when we score glass um, you only want to put one score line in it, not two or sixteen, just one is um, absolutely fine. So there is our first score line in our bottle. So it's a perfect score line that's gone right round, the edges haven't crossed over each other so that's wonderful. So now we're going to um, do another ring. We're going to make this around about the same, same width as this piece of glass that we've already cut previously. So what we need to do now is just adjust our bottle cutter. So if we undo the wing nuts at the top and then we slide that down a little bit. Slide it down, tighten it up a little bit and then we'll just see if that's adjusted to the right height. No, we don't quite have enough there, making it a little bit too thin. So we'll adjust that and push it down ever so slightly more. Straighten that up a little bit so that we keep that perpendicular. So we're actually going to be cutting quite a, um, quite a fat piece from there, that's fine. So we'll just tighten those up completely and then get our hand hold down the bottom here again 
so that we're pushing in and towards the bottle. And then we start turning. And then we start getting our funny noise, so we stop at that point. And so now we've got this perfect ring where we can remove from that section of the bottle in our next stage. So while we're, while we're doing this, we may as well score another one. You get as many scores as you, as you can out of one. Let's position that on there. We're going to go for a slightly different width this time. It looks good. So we tighten that back up again, nice and tight. Pop that back on, still nice and perpendicular. And this ring here is going to be a little bit thinner this time. So pushing toward and against the bottle again and turning with our left hand. Right, and we've got back to the beginning of that. So we'll do one more because you won't be able to start scoring your bottle again once you've cut the pieces, um, once you've started removing them from the bottle. The bottle needs to be intact for you to do that. So, oops, that was taking off too much of a chunk. Bring that back up. It's all very, very simple to adjust, which is the great thing with this, with this scorer. right there so we'll tighten that up so yeah the important thing is to um, to do those score lines before you actually start breaking out the glass okay so off we go again making sure at all times that the bottle's sitting on the flat on the surface and there we've got our gravelly noise so we've done four score lines now and that will give us plenty of glass like that to work with.